What's up, guys? Um, today I want to talk about NBA Live 16. You know, everybody's been talking about it, saying it's been it's good and it's been the best one yet. So, I mean, I just want to give you guys my the good and the, uh, the bad, and um, go through that because uh, from what I played, I'm actually loving it right now. And I want to just say it's been like a month since I put out a video. I'm sorry, you guys. I've been busy, I had court and everything. It was it's been stupid switching schools, starting at full sale. But yeah, the good though. Um, the good I would say is everything and from two yeah, from NBA Live 15 and 14 the, the shit that the bullshit that came out last year I feel like it's out like the dribbling the fucking movement not moving like robots it's out it feels so much smoother like when you're uh, crossing over if you cross over you do like a exclusive move with the right stick which is uh comes in hand I think you do that on 2K2 I think, not really sure. I mean, I haven't played 2K in a while because of the 2K servers. They're 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 not good to me. I lag all the time in my park. But um, this game, yeah, it fixed a lot of the errors that it made last last um the last two games it put out. So like I said, one of the big things is the movement. They fixed the movement. I give them props to that. Another big thing is the graphics. The graphics are amazing. Like down to the itty bittiest thing like the shoes, the hair the fucking tattoos oh my god, the clothing is sick it, it's all, it's just like really really uh, good and detailed and um, I think that it should be a, a good competitor with 2K16 this year, but I don't know because uh, I don't think, I don't know if they have like a little story mode like uh, 2K does and it's getting produced by Spike Lee this year so Evidently, it's going to be like a dramatic story mode and all this shit, so. And, um, so, just be, just be aware that the 2K16 story mode might be really, really, really good. Only because of Spike Lee. Because, <laughs> you know, his, like, his directing skills and all that shit. But, if they, if they do have a story mode in NBA Live 16, I think it should be, I think it will be good. Because of how you can... Um, modify your player down to the, the smallest detail like they have the shit like um, your points you know start off I think you start off your your players uh, ranking in the pro-am starts off at a level 75 a rating of 75 which it's ridiculous I don't know why it starts so high but I'm not I don't have a problem with that but uh cause I know in 2k the last 2k I played 15 you start off as like a it was like a 59 or a 60 you had to work your way up to that and um but in like this one like when you get into the game you already feel like you're already um um major player to be what you want him to be but not fully so he's like already good and it's not like you're not working to get like better at the thing you're just playing because now your player's like already good like he does crossovers. I haven't been ripped not one time in the little program thing. You don't you don't get ripped. You don't get. I haven't been blocked, but I do miss shots. I tell you that. I tell you that the shots on here you miss if you don't. I I really like the line thing right by your name when you shoot the ball. It's supposed to be like I guess if you're shooting it bad or if you're shooting it good. That's pretty cool. I think you turn it on and off, and if not, then I don't know. It really doesn't bother me, but I think it's a cool uh, adjustment to the game. <laughs> And um, another thing is uh, the title screen. I couldn't get the title screen recorded into it. It wouldn't let me do it for some reason. It kept saying, sorry, can't do that. I don't know why. But, like, the title screen, all that stuff is cool. It's good, and it's um, friendly. Like, everything's right there in your face, so you won't have to, like, search for where you want to go and all that stuff. And one of the biggest things that got me that's very good about this is this fuck, the fucking soundtrack is amazing in this game. I haven't had a dull moment with the soundtrack at all. And... I don't know. I mean, it, it, I guess it's me personally. I don't know if it'll be on anyone else, but it's just the music that's on there is actually pretty goddamn good and something that I can listen to. So that's a plus on their side too. They added the tattoo shop. The tattoos on here look fucking amazing. I have a sleeve on my guy, like two sleeves on my guy. One's a tribal and one's a, like a little Hawaiian tattoo sleeve, and it shows up so good. It, it's ridiculous. And I, I, I think it's just beautiful. Like I said, the graphics on here are amazing. And it, 
you know, it's just something new, and it feels it feels like it's right. It doesn't feel like shit. Like I'm, it just feels good. And another thing, like the hair, like I was saying about the hair and all that stuff, the hair and the graphics of the hair and stuff, they're done really, really good. I got like this o Odell Beckham hairdo. It looks crazy. Other than that, man, that's all the good I have. So now I just want to get to the um, to the bad. Okay, so the bad. The bad is okay. So when you're playing against a good rating guy, say like a say LeBron James for instance, he doesn't miss. You can literally go in, dot, um, drive in, lay it up, and not miss at all. It's fucking ridiculous, and I don't think I don't think that should be a thing. Like I was playing. With OKC and he he shot four threes, made all four threes. He drove seven times and scored all seven. It's ridiculous. Another bad thing is the rebounding. The rebounding is so off on this game. It makes you makes you really angry. I don't I because it's a bunch of rebounds that should have I should have had and that they scored off of. It's kind of bullshit. But I mean, that's all the bad I got out of this game for right now. I haven't had too much of the bad because I really like everything else. But if I find more, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching.